Yo, what's awesome, guys? Welcome to the channel, and today is that to come with my career move for part 14 in Singapore. So, yeah, let's get straight into qualifying. Here we are in Singapore then. Um, I'm not very good at this track. I don't, it's not really one of my favourite tracks, to be honest. I think my favourite part about this track is where uh, in the actual 2017 Grand Prix, um, Vettel, Wyken, and uh, Verstappen had a crash at the beginning. Um, that's the, probably the only part that I actually like about this Grand Prix because the crash was actually pretty decent. But this is in the game and I don't really like the game track to be fair. But um, if you're wondering why back in ages ago when uh, I was playing with GMVGC and I uploaded a video on this track um, in F1 2016, that's because I didn't actually pick that track. When uh, we did a first one in Canada and I picked Canada and then I said he could pick a track and he said Singapore so that was the one he picked. But um, trying to get a quick lap in anyway and Palmer's looking to get in my way a bit here which is really not good for me at all. Uh, luck I managed to get past him, but he might have blocked me up a little bit, which is quite annoying. And Hamilton has set a fastest lap, and we've gone straight into the barrier. That's our front wing gone. Right, so we need to hurry up and quickly get a lap in, like literally. Look at the time. We we bet we only just have just over a minute left, so we need to hurry up and get a quick lap in right now. Like I think I'm. Oh wait, no, I'm not the only one on track. My teammates are also on track. But we flip the car right up. Come on, we need a quick lap now. Because this, this is going to be our only lap that we can have a chance to do. So hopefully it's going to be a quick one. Uh, our teammate Hamilton is ahead of us. Um, he shouldn't block us up too much since, you know, he's in the same car as me. And even if we are catching him down, you know, he, there's a bit of a gap between me and him. So I won't catch him down, like, enormously quickly. Um, but I'm not very good at this track, like I've always said. So I don't think I'm going to get pole position here. But we could always see, you, you never know, no one ever knows, so we could actually get pretty close. Alright, we're um, 0 0.046 tenths of a second down there, so that's not that's not that bad. We're, we're not far, far away, so we almost went into the battle again where we uh, crashed last time, so that was a lucky one there. But I think we are flying, actually, for our, our, um, a bad track that we don't really like, so, you know, I'm, I'm quite happy that we're actually doing pretty de decently. And we definitely are getting really close to our teammate, that's for sure. Um, but coming around to where JMBGC actually crashed or on the actual race that we did. And I've lost a bit of my front wing, so we just have to keep going with this. And as you can see, my MG UK has actually gone a little bit, which is really not good. So I need to hope to God that that doesn't affect me too much. And uh, come on, come on. I don't want to be last. I don't want to start from the back of the grid. So we just need to keep going. We have damaged front wing, this should be really hard, really hard. And we go into the barrier a bit and this is going to be difficult, really difficult around here. Um, somehow we've actually done it all right, but that's n not good whatsoever. And oh my god, we've lost some more of our front wing. Sebastian Vettel has set the fast lap. Kimi Räikkönen set pole position at the moment. Um, we are just driving like, oh, I don't even know what we're driving. Like We're driving like an absolute maniac. And as we come around the corner and we smash into the barrier, and that, our qualifying is over. I don't know what we've got. I, I'll be set. Oh, okay, it's 17th. That is awful. So there's how to match set pole position. Um, we are all the way down to 17th. We've got so much ground to make up. But yeah, let's get straight into the race. Right, so here we go for the Singapore Grand Prix. Then we need a good start. Like literally, we do need and we actually do need a good start. And it's lights down away we go here. And okay, it's an actually actually not a bad start for once. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. And Stroll breaks so early there, and we're gonna have to watch out on Palmer as well. Oh my god, we're going to have to watch out so much as we come around the third, third, well, second corner now. And uh, that was so lucky. And Werner and Elks actually keeping with us even. So this is quite bad. And Palmer's like trying to defend off me a little bit. But we've managed to dive it down. There's uh, Palmer and Stroll. Now I'm going to try and get a launch. So I don't really want to use it many flashbacks. Well, not flashbacks. I don't want to really want to watch too many instant replays. Because I feel like that will put me off today now. So I just want to just keep my head down. And try and get as many people as I can. So dive it down the inside of... Alonso and Perez, who actually finished third last race, but he's managed to keep it off me, which is quite good for, um, you know, a bit of battle for between me and Perez, and, well, I'm just trying to chase him down now. And Sainz, the main man Sainz, who actually finished fourth in this Grand Prix, um, you know, he's uh, he's down in 12th, so that's not, that's not that good compared to where he finished in the real life Grand Prix. So, um, but Perez is definitely looking to be vulnerable to me and he does as I dive it down the inside of him get on the floor really quickly and he's still defending off me but my straight line speed will be a bit better than his um, we have the same engine but still we oh no he's oh we've gone into him we've gone into him no we can't mess this up we're gonna lose the championship here if we don't watch out we have lost our front wing now which is not great whatsoever 
and I'm just gonna have to completely watch out now. I might even have to pit at the end of this lap because our form is gone, absolutely gone. And I'm gonna change strategy. Um, yeah, pitting lap one. There we go. Right, I'm sorry if you can hear my controller. I'm trying to smack it about. Well, not smack it about, but I'm pressing so many buttons so quickly that you might be able to hear it a little bit. I'm sorry about that, but I'm hoping to get my um, laptop working again soon, so I'll be able to, you know, record it a bit better. And you won't be able to hear my my, uh, my controller either. But coming into the pits. Hopefully it's a quick one. Felipe Massa was out of this race. Oh, okay. Wow, that's quite a shock. I'm not, not used to seeing Massa out of uh, a race, to be honest, because Massa is actually a pretty decent driver usually, so that's quite a shock. Let's see what's wrong with him when we catch up. Not catch up to the rest of the grid, but when we come through and we'll just see what's wrong with him. Oh, I think he's just broken down. I, I, I'll be very shocked if he's crashed or something. So, has he just broken down? Yeah, he's just broken down. Poor Massa. Poor massa. Nah, guys, I'm sorry. I'm 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 just gonna retire the car. This is gonna be a really short video, but I have retired. I've decided to, you know, just just stop there. Um, don't know why they're changing my tyres, but um, because it, it's such a short video, I will upload another career mode today. But thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. But I don't think many of you would have enjoyed it. But I will carry on with my career mode throughout the rest of the day. Well, about maybe another video since this one was such a short one. But thank you for watching, and goodbye.